not worried. Hey guys, so we are going to do the private messaging for uh, the chat app that we made in the last two videos. If you didn't know, go ahead, I'll put a link in the description or in that little eye in the right top corner so you can uh, see that and go do that with, with me before you do this, otherwise you'll be completely lost in what's going on. I will put a link down in the description for the repository that you can start with us if you want. Um, but this is, this is how it's going to work. I'm just going to type in a user that's already logged in. So YouTube, which is already logged in right over here. And it'll open up a nice little private message. And I can go in here and type in, hey, YouTube. And then it'll say, hey, YouTube. And just like that, you can see the message right over here. I can say, hey, Mike. And this is a nice private message that I can do along with the community chat that's going on right up here. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first up, we're going to go open our events.js, and we're going to add a event in here. It's going to be called private underscore message. And this is just the event that's going to be fired from the socket or from the client whenever a private message wants to be um, sent or a private message chat wants to be opened. And then that's all we have to do inside there. So let's close that, and we're going to go into our factories.js. And inside here, we're just going to add a property on side on our create user, and it's just going to be called socket ID. And that property is going to be passed into the object that creates this user. I'm going to say socket ID here. We're just going to have an initial value of null if not passed, but it should be passed anyways. Boom. Then we're good with that. Now we're going to open our socket manager.js. We're going to go ahead and import private message. And now right down here, we're going to go ahead and add that socket. So right here when we create our user in our verify username um, event, we're going to give it a socket ID and that's going to be a value socket.id and that's the socket that is passed whenever we connect from a client to this. All right. So now next up, we are going to say right here, if the user disconnects for some reason, we want to make sure that that socket ID is updated. So we're going to say user.socket ID equals socket dot ID. Perfect. And let's see, the next thing we're going to do is add our private on private message event so right down here I'm going to give it right down here we're going to say socket dot on private message and we're just going to and that's going to have a um, receiver passed to it as well as a sender so we know who's sending the message and who is receiving it and we're just going to console dot log for right now those two things so we're going to say receiver and sender just like that now we're going to go ahead and start the server. So if you're running from uh, the project that I've already done with you guys, you can go ahead and type in npm run run server and also npm run react in your terminal and it should go ahead and start both of those things. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so that should start the server there. It might open a window for me. That's okay. Let's start another terminal, npm run server. And that should run the nice Node.js server we got. We are going to go ahead and open our chat container, .js. And in our chat container, we're going to import our event from events. So private message and save that. And then next, we're going to go right here and we're going to create a function called init socket. This is going to initialize our, all our stuff for our socket as well as call any emits that we need to happen at the beginning of this component being mounted. So we want to call that socket.emit community chat and we also want to call um, we also want to set the socket.on to that private message, so socket that on private message. And whenever that happens, we want to say this dot add chat, which is a function that we created in an earlier video right down here. That to add the chat, if we have that, then we're going to say that's going to be equal to false. 
um, at the beginning, our reset value here. So if we just pass in the chat, the reset value will be equal to false. Now it's saying that I don't have a socket here and that's what we're gonna pass into this function. So we're gonna say socket is gonna be passed in to this init socket function. And then last but not least, we are going to say socket.on uh, connect, which is a socket.io uh, event. And we're gonna say inside there that we're gonna call this dot we're just going to call it socket dot emit, and that's going to be that community chat again. And then say this dot reset chat. It's going to reset the whole chat if someone disconnects. So now everything looks good. We're not really doing anything yet, uh, but we are going to go ahead and test that private message. So right down here, we're going to say socket dot emit, and we're going to emit private message, and we're going to send it into the receiver. And that receiver is going to be some random name for now, like Mike. And then uh, the sender is going to be us. So that's going to be this dot mm, props dot user dot name, right? And actually, let's just go ahead and take that out of here and just say user dot name, and put this at the top right up here. Say const user equals this dot props, right? And then that should go ahead and work. Good, that's working. So now we go over here and we say, Mike, and if we go back to our Node.js server, you can see that Mike and Mike is our, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have logged in as Mike. Let's log in as someone else. So let's log in as uh, my, me, Leon, right? So then it says Leon is the sender and Mike is the receiver. Perfect. So now, let's go ahead and take that out. We're not going to emit a private message at the beginning. And we're now we're going to go back to our socket manager. And we are going to go ahead and finish this. So now, inside here, we're going to say if uh, receiver is in connected users, which is a list or an object that the users get um, added on to every time they log in, just like right here. This is our connected user, so it's just me, Leon. And then, um, if that this is a receive a user in the connected users, we say const new chat. We're just gonna make a new chat. So we say const new chat, create chat, which is a function inside our factories.js, and that's going to need a few things like a name, and that name is going to be just the name we make up right now. So it's gonna be this receiver and and that's and symbol and then also a the sender and then after that it also needs a the users so now that was it's a private message we're going to add the users in here so we're going to say the receiver and the sender great so we made a new chat and now that we've made that new chat we also want to go ahead and get the socket that we're going to send this to so we're going to send it to uh, the current socket that the person who's requesting to make a private chat is going to get, and also the receiver. So the receiver socket is going to be equal to connected users, and then receiver, and then that socket ID that we have now. And once we have that, we can say socket.2, and that's going to send a event to this socket that we've put in here, so receiver socket. And we're going to emit private message. And we're gonna send the new chat. And then we're also going to emit to this socket, emit private message and send new chat. All right, so once we've done that, we can go back to our chat container and do a few more things in here, and that is going to be add a function. And this function is going to be called send open private message. So it's just going to send open private message. Oh, message. 
and that's going to be it's going to have a parameter called receiver and all this is going to do is it's going to get the socket from the props socket this dot props and it's going to say socket dot mit private message and then it's going to send in the receiver and the sender which is going to be us as I said before so let's go ahead and get that out of the props as well user user dot name perfect so now that we have that we want to go ahead and put this as a prop for our sidebar which is where the event is going to come from so if you look in our application we have a sidebar over here and this is where we're going to type in the name that we want to create a private chat with so inside right down here in our render method we're going to say right here on send private message and we're going to give it that function so send open private message and then copy this sorry I don't have to remember it we're going to open our sidebar and inside our sidebar we're going to do a few things first thing we're going to do is going to change this search which is our little input up there to a form so we're going to change this to a form mm -mm. and then we're going to give it an on submit parameter that's going to be equal to a handle submit handle called handle submit yep and then right down here for our input we're going to go ahead and do an on change and on change is going to change the value of this input so it updates as we change it so we say that event and it's going to say this dot set state of um, receiver let's call it receiver and that's going to be equal to e dot targets dot value so this this receiver is going to be in our state of our sidebar and it's going to be the the name of the receiver that we want to open a chat with so now that is also going to be the value right here the receiver and then right up here we're going to make our constructor with that in there so props and then super props and then we're going to say this dot state is equal to um, receiver and then that's going to be equal to nothing at the beginning all right so one more thing i need to do before i go back to the front end is we're going to say handle submit right here we we'll make that handle submit i'm going to make an arrow function or a function expression and then we are going to say get that event and say e dot prevent default so we don't submit to this page on enter or on submit and now we're going to get a few things like the receiver and then you say this dot states and for right now we're just going to console dot log the receiver so let's go ahead and go back to the application looks like receivers not defined yes because I didn't get it out of state right here so const receiver equals this dot state perfect all right so now we say my and if I go ahead and open the console and type in the name here type in Mike or something it just shows me right there that I'm trying to get Mike all right cool so now we need to get something out of our props and that is our on private on send private message prop which is just a function so then we get that equals this dot props and then we're going to call that so we're going to say on send private message we're going to send receiver so now this is going to send that receiver to to here and then that's going to call this function right here, which is right on up here. 
right? And then that's going to send that private message and the receiver and the sender. And it's going to make a new event. And once that happens, it goes to our socket manager. It says, cool, we got a private message. Is that person in our connected users? If they are, we create a new chat and we say, get the user socket that it's going to. We send that private message to that receiver and then also send it to the user that made the, the message or the chat. And then we go ahead and make some new chat inside our chat container right up here. So on private message, it says this dot add chat. And that is going to have that new chat, which is going to add to our state. Can't find. All right. So let's go ahead and make inside our chat container. We're going to make this a function because it can't bind that this props that this variable, unless I bind it at the top or make it a function expression. So we do that and we go back. These both refresh and I log in as I and I log in as me. And then I try to start a chat with I and you'll see that boom, we have I and me. And right over here, we also have I and me. So now let's go ahead and fix this last thing, which is it's saying community here. So let's uh, go to our code in our sidebar. And in our sidebar, we have something that's printing out right here. So here we are getting the name of the chat. Um, let's, let's call it the name of the chat. So uh, chats, actually, no, we're getting the the name that is that pops up on the sidebar here. So this community name right here. So we're first going to make this or community. And we're also going to say uh, if it is equal to user.name, take out this because it's just the names and not an object with the names. And then right down here, we're going to say instead of user.name.0, we're going to say user.0 and user just like that. Right, so we can't name everything user. So let's go ahead and change this user right here to, uh, oh, where'd I go? Change this user to just the name. Just like that, and we should be good. We go back and we say, my and his, right? And I try to talk to my again right here. Looks like my is the name here because that's the person I'm talking to and his is the name here. Now, last thing is, do we send the message? So we send a message like, hey, who is it? It's uh, his, hey, his, that's a weird name. Hey, his, and then right over here, you see, hey, his. Oh, yes, gotta click on it. There it is, hey, his. And it says, hey, my. And there we go. We have our private messages that don't deal with anything else. So there you go, guys. If you enjoyed it, definitely let me know down in the comments. If you want to see anything else, I appreciate all the, the feedback I've been getting. Someone wanted to see private messages being done on my app, and I definitely got it done here. And he also wanted to see Mang MongoDB connected to this, and I'm definitely looking forward to trying to do that while well, doing that. And really, guys, I appreciate the, the feedback. I didn't expect this much at all. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll be doing a lot more React-type stuff. Um, follow me on Twitter. If you have any questions, go ahead and tweet me on Twitter, Twitter as well. Twitter. <laughs> um, but that's it, guys. Thanks.